Hello, Jim at Townsend.B. Hello again, Tozak. So I had to tell you about the uh, stock market so that I could tell you about the bimetallism scam. Okay. Now, the um, uh, so as we know, the stock market is 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 just a scam. The way that it's um, uh, set up, you don't need a stock market to invest in stocks and legitimate companies and uh, and, and stuff like that. And it makes it easy to debauch the system once you have a formalized uh, uh, stock market set up. Okay, bimetallism is actually a scam that is played um, by man manipulating stocks. You see, whenever the bankers go into these um, into these countries, Commonwealth nations, the you know nations that God's chosen people claim as their Commonwealth, and all the people in them as chattels. That's uh, chattel property. That's the idea behind this whole thing: is enslaving the human race. Whenever they go into a country, they use the courts in order to legally mandate a paper currency. Okay, that paper currency is just uh, legalized theft. Um, the, the currency itself has no value. It's, it's, it's a system of uh, IOUs, and it debauches the money supply. Now, if you go onto my Townsend.be website, okay, and click on Bimetallism, it'll bring up a page there, and you'll see um, uh, some charts. Now, if you look at those charts, you can see how money has been debauched. Now, you'll see five links at the top of them. One of them um, is a link to the Gold Confiscation Act that you talked about, that I'm going to talk about here. Uh, another one is a link to the 1792 Coinage Act in the U.S. Now, read Section 9 because it lays out what a dollar is. Okay, a dollar is only ever a weight of silver. It lays out gold. Gold is measured in, in, in eagles and the value of copper pennies even okay so it, it it gives the values for the coins now these in order for a money system to remain stable these values always remain stable with respect to each other and if you take a look at the charts you'll see that a dollar is uh, or rather an ounce of silver is always a, at a dollar thirty an ounce of gold is always at twenty dollars now those are the standards so whenever these guys came in, they needed to debauch the money supply and get their uh, get their paper money into the system. So read the Coinage Act, Section 9, so you understand what real money is. Then also re read Section 19 of the Coinage Act, because you see <coughs> this, um, uh, this financial scam that these global bankers have been playing in the United States carries a death penalty. And that's why they want to disarm the Americans, take away all their guns. Right now they're attacking them with this swine flu thing. Because if the Americans ever catch on that these people that have set up a puppet government in Washington are uh, committing financial crimes against them and their own laws specify the death penalty for these people, there's going to be a comeuppance to pay. Now these global bankers want to hit America hard before the realization, before, before the lights come on and how everybody in the country, the entire country has been ripped off. Same thing happened in Australia, same things happening in Canada and everything else. So whenever you can manipulate the stock market, and believe me, it's all insider trading. Uh, trading. Whenever they uh, crashed the stock market in 1929, Bernard Baruch was uh, uh, watching the floor with Winston Churchill, who had been in invited over so that Baruch could um, show uh, Churchill how much power he had uh, with manipulating the stock market. So whenever you can arbitrarily set the price of something, okay, read section 19, as soon as they change the value of a dollar and uh, the, the value of an eagle, okay, death penalty time. And you can see right there in the chart, well, first of all, they wobbled it, right? They're trying to bring in these banks, right? You can see how they keep on hitting onto a dollar and then bang, up goes the price of gold They manage to do that. So they can arbitrarily set the price, uh, price of gold. Now you can see in real money terms, there's a 16 to one relationship between gold and silver. So first of all, if you can make silver worth less, which is what, what they did, okay, you can buy up silver undervalued, okay? So you use your gold to buy up all of the silver and you wobble the silver back up, right? And at the same time, you screw around with the gold. Now you can buy the gold back at, um, at, 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 at a low bargain price while you get rid of, uh, of your silver. Okay, so what's happening right now? Gold is way overvalued, okay? 
So everybody that's got the money and the, the gold, right? They're selling their gold at a premium right now. So they're getting the major amount of purchasing power and they're buying silver. Why? Because they know whenever the stock market crashes, paper money is going to be absolutely uh, uh, worthless. Gold and silver are going to return to their real money values. Gold's going to go back to $20 an ounce. Silver is going to go back to $1.30 an ounce unless they can keep the stock market um, out of sync. Now you think about this. You have a currency in Canada that is um, a just paper currency and it's totally valueless. Like it's only confidence in the paper money that keeps the paper money going. Once people lose total confidence in the in the in the credit system and the and the paper money system, that's the end of it. No more commerce. It goes back to um, uh, back to real money. Now the bankers have to do something about it, and that's what they're doing right now because people have totally lost the confidence in the system. They're getting out of they're getting out of the stock market. They're not taking anything on credit, and well. I shouldn't say that because a lot of people have just given up hope and they're living everything on credit. You know, it's like um, we're just going to, uh, you know, keep on uh, using our credit cards until the system crashes or whatever. Right? System of credits works very well for the public. They're out there uh, uh, spending and everything because the government just keeps on churning out their uh, their paper checks for them. Right? And the system will work well as long as they can get goods and services. But you see, the people providing the goods and services. The private people providing the goods and services no longer have jobs. It's only the public that is that is working. It's fueling the thing, so it's more and more paper, more and more paper, right? You can play one paper currency off against the uh, the other. It's called the derivative market. So if you're on the inside of the stock market, you just arbitrarily um, adjust the prices of uh, money, and you play the same scam that you do with bimetallism. Okay, look at the gold confiscation act. Okay, at the end of the, uh, of the Depression, Roosevelt just uh, uh, issued uh, uh, an act that um, took everybody, everybody was required to um, uh, sell their gold back to the Federal Reserve. Now, take a look close at that act, and you see written right into the act who's behind it. Who do we find? The Bank of International Settlements. The Bank of International Settlements has an asset base of $175 trillion dollars. And the world owes them a collective debt of a hundred trillion dollars. We're all in debt peonage. Well, debt peonage is a form of slavery. Slavery is a crime against humanity. Well, you see, it's very easy to tell that we don't have uh, a, a real judiciary, that we don't have not one lawyer out of all of them that's worth his salt that has stood up to say, look at it's the justice system itself that is being used to attack our countries. How many cops do you have that are standing up against the system? Next to none. Well, here's the thing. Think about, you know, look at everything as just a scam because it really is just a scam. Anything to do with the stock market is a scam. Anything to do with paper money is a scam and you will lose any money that you have left on it. You know, like you want to invest your money right now, get it into silver, get it into um, uh, heirloom seeds, um, get it into things that are going to perpetuate uh, the, your life for you. You know, when you um, think about things, you know, if there's no gas and there's no oil and there's no diesel or anything, you're not going to be able to run that generator. So get a generator and convert it to uh, um, run on wood gas. You know, if you if you want to survive, now is the time to prepare for it. You know, you don't want to get herded into a city because you're going to be a target for bio warfare and all that other sort of stuff. So that's just my warning, and what I can see is melting down. So I hope you understand uh, Tozak uh, what bimetallism is. It's just simply using the stock market to adjust the prices of uh, the metals that are uh, backing uh, real money in order to debauch the system so that you can steal the money out of it. Remember that right now gold is at a premium, so these guys are selling it. So don't put your money into gold, put your money into silver, because the people that rule the system, this is how they protect themselves. Forget about foreign currencies and everything else. They want to bring in a new global currency, backed by nothing again, that is supposedly going to uh, solve problems. And it will solve it in the, in, in the long or in the short term because, remember, it's just one big company store, and the company store will take their chips back in order to induce you to get into the system. We need to turn our back on the entire thing. You know, it's 
love or money. You choose. It's not both. It's love or money. Either you act out of a spirit of community or you act out of a spirit of the acquisition of capital. See, that's all communism is. Communism is just the motivation of a society out of the spirit of the community. Capitalism is the motivation out of, uh, of a society based on the acquisition of capital. What happened over in the communist countries was not communism. That was meant to give communism a bad name. Anyways, I won't get into that at this point in time. But remember, all the world is a lie right now. So if you want to survive, think it through. Forget about faith. Have faith in nothing and no one. Peace, y'all. Love you.